Uh, so much to discuss. You know, one of the things when I, I look at your career, and you are on Wikipedia, so I can I know all about you. <laughs> um, you know, you you're a producer, you're a recording artist, band leader, uh, bass player, occasionally, right? Composer. Mm -hmm. Uh, you're working with social media, you're a label owner, you're a studio owner. Um, I guess you change the light bulbs too and clean the kitchen, I, <laughs> right? You I, do yeah. it all. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. pretty much, um, to me, it kind of like, it's almost like what the template has now become for a musician in the 21st century post COVID. Um, uh, and David and I, uh, we're a little bit older than you. Uh, I'm over 30. I'm over 40. I'm over 50. Actually, over yeah, 60. When we were doing records when I was younger, they had hamsters. Um, <laughs> they still do. It's only now the hamsters run the, the digital uh, digital service provider platforms. You know, the, the problem was, though, back then, I had to have the hamsters go backwards to, to reverse tape, which was yeah. really confusing. <laughs> I had to put the food on the opposite side. Right. What? <laughs> But it, it, right. Well, so when David and I, when the earth was still cooling, um, you could make a living as a bass player. You had gigs, you had, sure. you know, you'd be in a couple of bands, you do sessions, you did demo work, which was big before uh, Pro Tools uh, turned your living room into Sunset Sound. Um, and of course there was theater work, but now it seems like uh, to, to make your way in life as a musician, you really have to diversify. You have to do more than one thing. Yeah, sure. And I think that it was pre-COVID also, you know, I mean, yeah. I'm thir 37. So I really kind of became a professional musician, I guess, around 2006, you know, that's when I left okay. school and went out into the real world or whatever, you know, and um, uh, yeah, definitely, even as early as then, the early 2000s, I think there was this thing of, yeah, if you want to be a successful musician, you got to wear a lot of hats. Yeah, you know, you got to play. You got to play in a lot of different styles, but you also have to understand how to promote yourself. You have to understand how to run social media. You have to understand how to do graphic design, basically. Yeah. You know, all this kind of stuff because you don't have any money, right? You know, so uh, you know, if you had more gigs, then you'd have the money to pay people to do those things. But you know, less gigs. Right. So, yeah, I mean, I think whenever whenever you talk to any generation, they're always going to say it was so much better when I was young. Right. You know? And and I don't know if that's if that's because it's just always true that things are constantly getting worse, or if it's that um, that uh, people are um, They're nostalgic for their own youth. Uh, I think. And 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 but maybe also inclined to see change as a threat. Right. You know. I mean, I can relate to that deeply. That like I don't I don't want to get on TikTok. Yeah. You know what I mean? And and I hate and I hate the fact that I might have to get a, get on TikTok to stay relevant. Like, I, you know, I hate that. Whereas a, an 18 year old bass player probably looks at TikTok as an opportunity. And I look at it as like a like a, a pain in the butt. You know what I mean? So um, I think a lot of it has to do with perspective also, you know. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's interesting. That's an interesting. <laughs>